<laughs> oh, you hit my roof. You hit my roof. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's full. That's pretty far. He's going to try to drive over it and pop it. All right, I've got a problem, and I'm gonna need your guys' help on this next one. I wanna show you guys something. You see this deck build I'm doing behind me? This project is for a YouTube video. And this deck build took us a week to demolish, and it's gonna take us two weeks to put together. So I've got three weeks into the deck build project. Um, and then every single one of my videos that I put out takes me about four to five days to edit, to create the story, then to get on YouTube, create a thumbnail, to tag it, title it, and upload it. So if we're gonna be talking about a project that I do for one of my videos, every single video takes me at least five to six weeks from the start of the project till the time I can release a video. So this deck that you see behind me, this video is for you guys, but you won't see this video for another three or four weeks, at least, before I can get this out. Now, the quality of my videos, I hope you guys notice, goes up and up and up. But the quantity of my videos goes down and down and down. Now, in YouTube's eyes, they don't care how good my videos are. You guys do, but you, YouTube's computer doesn't. So YouTube has actually not been looking at me very favorably because I'm just not producing as much content as I used to. And so to offset that, I need to do something that's a little simpler every now and then. And this is where I need your help. A couple of the concepts that I want to shoot past you guys and I want you to tell me what you think of it. I get sent all these products and these guys send me products and they want me to put it on their cha on my channel and sometimes these guys will send me a product and they'll say, oh, we want you to unbox it. Like they think you guys are 12 years old or something. Maybe a couple of you are, but we want you to shoot a video of you unboxing it and then we want to shoot a video of you where you're doing this with it or you're doing that with it. And they try to tell me what I can and can't do with their product. And when I get back to them and I tell them to go pack sand or I tell them, yeah, go ahead and send me your product, but I'm gonna say what I want how I want, when I want, it's weird. But a lot of them don't send me the product. The thing is, some of them still do. And the ones that do send me the product are the ones that believe in their product. They obviously must have a better product or they wouldn't be willing to give it to me without any conditions whatsoever. And I thought, what if I took something somebody sends me and I review it and then I show it on a day-to-day -day basis, and then I take it further and further and further until we show the extreme limits that something can do. I wanna know from you guys, would you be interested in seeing that? Today, we're going to do that. But while I'm doing that, sometimes I may share what's happening in the world around me. I don't know if that's of any interest to any of you guys. Elliot, would that be of interest to you? Yeah, actually. All right, so. Elliot's actually gonna help me today. And we're gonna do our very first experiment and it's up to you guys. Also, I wanna know from you guys, what do we wanna name this? Because I'm not gonna be editing these. I'm not gonna be adding fancy uh, scene changes into them. It's just going to be me talking, doing something else. I was thinking of calling this kind of like mini segment, Dirt Monkey Demolition. I like it. The only thing is, is there's Demolition Ranch and that dude's kind of like awesome. He is pretty awesome. But <laughs> and I don't think I'm I don't think I can compete with that guy. And I don't want to steal anything from him and I don't want people to think I'm copying him. That's the problem. Well, give us your advice. I mean, do you think it's a copy? Well, okay. What do you guys think? Otherwise I was thinking how tough his stuff. Or I don't know what you guys in the comments down below. But here's something I want to make sure one of the themes that I have in every single one of my videos is giving back to you guys. I don't produce a video, I hate producing a video where I'm like bragging about, oh look at how, oh look at my house, look at how great my house is. I hate that, I flipping hate, I hate that, that level of egotism. I think you hate that. I, you think, yeah, I do hate that. And so when <laughs> I produce a video, I try to give back to you guys and I'm like, how can I make a simpler video giving back to you guys? So. Today we're gonna to be testing this sure can because I actually love these things. These are phenomenal fuel cans. Um, 
But I reached out to SureCan and I said, hey, would you be willing to give some of these away to some of the people that comment in my video down below? And SureCan said, yeah. So when you guys are done watching the video, comment down below. I don't care if you comment your mama is fat. I don't care. It's good, bad, or in between. I don't care. As soon as you comment, sure can. My mama's not fat. She's actually pretty skinny. Okay. She died like 10 years ago, so she's like really skinny. Wow. <laughs> 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 Maybe even longer than that. Um, <laughs> so we're going to be testing this out. Comment below. Sure can. I have nothing to do with this portion of it. They're going to randomly pick three people out of the comments and just send you one of these. Sound good to you? Perfect. Elliot's going to be doing the testing and I'm going to switch arms because uh, my old 46 year old arm gets tired holding that camera. All right, Elliot, first test we're going to do. We filled it up. This has got high octane airplane fuel in it. So if anything spills on the ground, it's going to definitely just seep right into the water table and it actually has water in it. It doesn't, can you guys hold on? All right, sorry about that guys. That was the Volvo dealer I'm gonna be testing out. They got a new wheeled excavator. I'm gonna be bringing it out to one of my job sites and putting it through its paces. I'm gonna actually bring it here first. Get used to it before I actually bring it out to a job site because I'm an old Polak and I grew up on Ford controls and everybody runs cat controls. So I gotta switch the controls around and I've never ran a wheeled excavator before. It's an excavator with wheels. Awesome. So it's gonna be kind of interesting to see, but sure can. First thing we're gonna do is a real world test. All we're gonna do is you got it filled up. All right, wait, I gotta go back. It's filled with water, not high octane airplane fuel. So if you believe that, I got some oceanfront property in Arizona for you too. Just knock it over. So let's let's take it a little higher. Let's go off the back of your pickup truck and drop it off. Now that's plumb full, so that's not gonna be easy on it. Well, I'm not gonna make excuses. I, I mean, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Give it a go. Now these guys told me they fill these up freeze them and drop them off 16 feet to see if they crack and break. Now I'm not gonna go through all that today. Go ahead, let's uh. Well, I mean, it's not cracking yet. Yeah, jump up and down on it. Ah. Okay, so let's uh, see if it works. That wasn't much of a kick, Elliot. You know what? <laughs> Okay, all right, let go. All right, throw it off. This time, let's get up. Why don't you hop up there and give it a good old heave hole, like, like, Mah! don't. So that'd be kind of similar if it fell off the back of a truck, maybe. Yeah, when you're driving down the road, yeah. Yeah, 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 all right. I'm gonna guess that's probably fine. Okay, so it's still fine. The one thing that has happened somewhere through all this is the little tab here that you're supposed to push yeah. Is gone. What do you think next step would be? We gotta go higher. Higher's better. Skid loader? You want me to lift it up to you? Uh, okay. I'll take that as a no. Garbage truck, it's always interfering with it. I wonder if we could get, I wonder if he'd let us go on the top of his garbage truck and throw it off. That would be pretty cool. That'd be cool. And if it broke, we could just throw it right in. <laughs> Into the bucket. He's not going on the ground. He's going in the bucket. Well, oh, look at a little dent. All right, we got a dent. But dents never slowed me down. All right. Well, it will when you go to try to fill that up. Well, we can test that though. All right, let's see if we can. Can I still open it? Well, not super easily. Maybe you can hammer it out. There we go. <laughs> there look we at go. That. Let's see it now. Let's, did we crack anything though? I don't think so. Let's look at the cap. That was the thing I'm hit most on. 
I don't see any cracks. Pretty marred, but. So here's the thing with these things. This is like a H, a double walled, it reminds me a lot of a double walled like HDPE pipe. It's just, it's got, it's just, it's like twice, I think it's like twice as thick, these cans, as a regular one. I guess they're pretty expensive well, if not, too. If not more than twice. And actually, I was looking, they're actually not that much more expensive than just like your normal gas cans that you sell today. Really? Yeah, they're just marginally Somebody more. Somebody said they were like 75 bucks each. Well, I don't know where they were looking, but I wasn't looking where I was looking. <laughs> All right, uh, should we go higher? We can go higher. All right, let's go higher. Let's. We'll go up there. Yeah. I'll throw it off there. All right. Uh, do we? Do we? Do we? Um, come on, use words, Sam. <laughs> use your use your full words. Come on, come on, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you have, uh, well, actually, here I bet that gorilla ladder will get us high enough. You think so? Here's something else that I want to talk to you about while he's setting that up. Analysis paralysis. You know, you guys come to me with your questions, and um, one of the things that I know is a lot of guys suffer from the, should I do it, shouldn't I do it? This video is a great example. Does that work? Oh, we should do it. We should do it. Well, I'm talking about this video um, itself. I, you know, I mean, I've already, I'm deviating from my format so much that I don't know if this is going to work or not, but the only way to know if you guys should start your businesses or if you guys should do whatever it is you want to do is to give it a try and to see what sticks and what doesn't. If it doesn't work, then you switch the formula up and you try again and you try again. But if you get stuck in the analysis paralysis part of life, you're never gonna get anywhere. You can overthink and overthink. And I see guys that do this on job biz and do it on projects. And they're always thinking, holy crap, you are up there a ways, aren't you? Uh, over and over and over again. Well, sometimes you just got to do it. What are you going to do? Well, we can slide it or we can chuck it. Uh, chuck it. Chuck it? I think chucking it would be better. Don't, don't chuck yourself off the... Well, that seems like a somewhat decent idea. <laughs> oh, you hit my roof. You hit my roof. <laughs> well... Sometimes you gotta sacrifice things. <laughs> I don't want to sacrifice my roof. All right, let's see how this looks. Holy crap! Looks fine. That doesn't look. All right, let's let's uh let's drop it like straight off the end. I think that's the tallest point. Holy crap! This is not light. All right, let's set this. I'll be right. I'll bring it up to you, Elliot. Better we could drop it off the other side. Yeah, that's the fine. other side's a harder surface. All right, we'll drop it off the other other side. Sorry about your roof. Oh, well. but the, the top, the very peak, is the tallest part. Yeah, want to drop it onto the driveway? Yeah. Okay. So let's get straight. You guys aren't gonna do this, and these videos are to slowly show what these things what some of these things are capable of doing. You're not gonna do this, I know this. If you wanna comment down below, if you wanna say, oh, these tests are so unrealistic, duh. Ready? Uh, no. I also wanna get this on Instagram. That's full. That's pretty far. Wow. Holy cr crap. That, uh. I don't think, ugh, that thing is not phased. That's uh, that's not a small drop either. All right, give it a go. See if it works, Elliot. Well, I'm gonna have to fix the handle again. For those just tuning in on Instagram, we're doing a full YouTube video on Works fine. So shut the handle off, let's see if it... All right, you know what, you see that spout right there? The spout? That may be a weak point. Let's try to Actually, see I if we get Actually, I think the weakest spot's gonna be this. The handle? Okay. Ooh. Genetics. Hey, Sam. Okay, let's flip it on the side and let's drive right over the top of it with the skid loader. Don't put a fork... I'll get it, I'll get it on its side. Don't put a fork in it, just uh... 
I don't want it forked. We're gonna drive over. That's full of uh, gasoline. I meant water. He's gonna try to drive over it and pop it. There we go, there we go. <laughs> I think that was it. That was the that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Don't think it can take the weight of a skid loader driving over the top of it. All right, let's see how bad how bad that is. It's it's pretty bad. However, it looks like you might be able to unscrew this and get a replacement. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, man, if you really wanted to, you could. I mean, like, all right. So let's say worst case scenario. You could plug the hole and still use it as a fuel can because it's not punctured. It didn't rupture the can itself. Or you could get a new... I wonder if you could just use the existing... I wonder if it's like repairable. Okay, so here's the... Here's the end. So I wonder if you could put that back So that's together. just a big washer. Right? Oh no, that's a sol is that a solid piece? No, it's not. So that'll come out. Stick, so stick it back together. Stick that. You might be able to just uh, put the. Uh, it's got a neck down on it. Oh, oh, is and it's threaded. Okay. But I wonder what's the odds you could do it the reversed way. So I think that concludes our sure can destruction video. I mean, I'll tell you straight up, Frankie would fix that. Yeah, he would. He would fix that. Hey, Frankie, we got something for you to fix. He, he, I've seen him fix stuff that I would have thrown away like a year before. I bet he could fix that. Frankie can fix anything. <laughs> that went first, didn't it? No, actually, well, yes, it did. Um, but it was still functional. In fact, it's still functional now. Hey. So this was the first thing that actually make it, made it so you couldn't continue to use it. This last deal was with the skid, skid loader. Center. Yeah, the skid was, the skid is what broke it. Skid loader is what, uh, what are you working on, Frankie? Huh? What are you working on? The log to your house. Huh? Yeah, because you had to have one of those log houses. Uh, tell me about it. And then you guys tell me about it. What do you think of a concept video like this? I'm not gonna edit it. I may add words of wisdom in there because I just can't help it. Today was about analysis paralysis. I think I talked about briefly and the ability to just go out and do it. Just try it and see what the results are. That's what I'm trying to do with this video. Is just give it a go and want to hear from you. What should I name it? How tough is stuff? Uh, Demoli- what was the Dirt other- Dirt Monkey Demolition. Dirt Monkey Demolition. Your suggestions down below. Comment and Shurkan is going to pick three people out. I have nothing to do with this part of it So don't tell me about it if you didn't win or there's rules or something something something. I don't care Don't want to know Shurkan's doing it. So thanks goes out to Shurkan For agreeing to do this being the, my first guinea pig. I think uh, I think I got some I think I may have to do something with maybe rhino lining next Ooh. I'd like to, what I'd like to do is if I could get Rhino Lining to do it and then I test it out and then give away, see if they would do it where they give away one Rhino Lining to one random person like the back of their truck. That'd be pretty cool. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be That's sweet. I want to give back to you guys. That's the whole point. In the videos, the information, knowledge I'm trying to share and if these manufacturers are willing to send me stuff to test out. What I'm trying to do is get them to send it to you guys, too. Not everybody. That'd be a little tough. But every now and then. So let me know in the comments down below. God bless. Go get them. Next video probably be a little bit more structured and may have some editing in it.